Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, I just created this uh, login part of my online shopping project. If you are not seen that video, just go to the description and check out the link. In this video, I'm going to write the code for this forget password. So let us start. Let me move to the ID here. And here you can see there's a forget password.jsp page. Just double click on this. You can see this is the page. And here we have to write the code. So here first we need to create a form form okay and in the form we have to insert action equals to and we have to write here the page in which we have to send the response okay after that I am using the method method equals to post okay and after that we have to take input and the type should be email address okay email and we are also naming it as email okay and after this we have to write placeholder folder is equals to enter email okay after that we have to write required it means that when we try to submit uh, our form and uh, the field is uh, empty then it will throw a message error message okay after that we have to take the mobile number so here number and here we have to enter the mobile number mobile number okay enter mobile number okay after input we have to insert or uh, a select we have to display options so before that we have to write the name of this so name equals to security question security questions question okay after that we have to insert the options so option okay and option and the option should be four options we have I'm just copy this uh, one more thing we have we have to write the name sorry value is equals to double okay after that we are going to copy this three more time one two three okay we already have a security question so we are going to copy this one by one in the value in between options okay so first second here and in between value after that the third one here and here okay after that uh, at last we have this question okay in this option and here okay after this we have to just need to copy this line and uh, we have to paste it here and the next is for the text for the answer you can say and the name should be answer okay answer and here we have to write answer okay after that we have to uh, again copy this to set the new password so here we have to write password okay and after that here we are renaming it as new password new password after that we have to write here enter your new password to set okay and at last we have to just uh, copy this again copy this okay and just delete these two parts all three and here first we are going to write the submit okay and the value is equals to save or you can say say yeah we will go for the save okay and after that uh, here we also need to connect login page so here i'm just writing login.jsp page okay after this you can see this perform part has been completed so let's check it out Okay, we also need to connect with this page. So let's move to the login page. Okay, we already connected this page. So let's check it out. 
okay here you can see uh, all the field is visible as well as uh, as well as uh, this messages are also visible okay we will remove that okay and now now we have to create a page here okay now we have to create a page here so uh, new jsp file file and here we have to write for good password action okay and here you can see the page has been created now first thing is we are going to do is we are going to write here the action page so here we are going to write for good password action dot gsp page so whenever we submit this form then uh, this will send the request to this page so let's move to this page again and now we have to write the code so first we are going to copy these two lines in this page okay after that we have to create connection and all first we have to take the input variables and we have to take all the values from that request dot kit parameter and the first name is email address okay email now here you can see automatically the error get removed so string mobile number okay equals to request dot get parameter okay in this we just need to write the exact name of this so i'm just copy the copying this and paste it here and let's copy this line three more times okay one two three and here just need to remove this before that we just need to copy this name and uh, here we are going to paste it first and uh, we are also renaming a string as a same okay after that we are going to write for the answer so answer here paste it here and here okay and at last we have a password sorry uh, we have to copy this new password and here we just need to paste it here and here okay now you can see the error get removed now uh, we are also going to create one more variable in check equals to zero okay uh, in upcoming uh, we are going to explain i'm going to explain you about why we are using this uh, check is equals to zero okay after that uh, we have to write here exception e here and in tribe log we have to write the codes so connection connection con equals to connection provider this one dot git con we already created this uh, connection provider class statement statement st equals to con dot uh, create a statement okay after that we have to use result search to store the select uh, query result okay rs equals to st dot execute query okay and uh, in this we are going to select select start from users where email is equals to single and uh, double okay plus and here we have to write the email okay after that we have to write here and mobile number number is equals to double okay plus plus after that we have to write a mobile number okay and uh, after that again we have to write let me move to the different line so that you can see this okay after this we are moving to this line we'll make it uh, as one after the writing the code okay after that and and security okay security question is equals to single double quotes okay after that uh, double plus security question 
okay after that we have to write here and answer is equals to single okay uh, single uh, after that we have to put double and this and insert okay now our query has been completed now we have to make it as once so just delete this and here we have to place the space a little bit so our whole query is select to start from user where email as equals to email this and mobile number according to DASA, database name this one and this one is according to our string here you can and security question and answer okay after this we have to write while rs dot next okay and in this first thing we are going to do is here we are making check is equals to one okay after that we have to write here execute execute update this and in this we have to write the query select okay sorry we have to update so we have to use update update users users set password is equals to single double and here we have to write new password okay and we also need to use where clause where email is equals to in single double quotes and in between plus plus after that we have to write e email okay and after that we also need to send the response so i'm just writing response dot send redirect okay and in this in between we have to write forgot good password okay dot gsp with question mark and we have to pass the message so message equals to done okay here you can see after that uh, while statement it is maybe possible that check does not set zero if this condition condition sorry check does not set to one if this condition does not satisfy it means that that user uh, did mistake in email mobile number or a security question any of four option so in that case we just need to send the response that something went wrong so we have to write here rs sorry we have to check here if check is equal equals to zero in that it means that we have to send the response response okay we just need to copy this line and we have to change the text so i'm just trying to copy this and here we have to change the message to invalid okay after that uh, we also need to display the message if error occurs so system dot out dot print ln and here we have to write e okay now our backend part is coding is almost done and uh, also we need to write some code here to display message according to changes okay so now here we just need to start with this bracket okay after that we have to get message so string message is equals to request dot get parameter and the msg we are also making it as same after that if in double done dot equals equals this one and msg so in that case we just need to display the password change successfully message so here we are and now we have to close this and with this okay you can see either get removed now maybe it is possible that uh, the user enter incorrect uh, id uh, answer or password so in that case if if invalid invalid dot equals message message in that case we just need to display this message something uh, went wrong try again so let's check it out it's working fine or not before that let's open the mysql database so that uh, you can uh, see the old password 
one, two, three, four, five, six, my MySQL password. Use, I think, uh, the uh, MySQL database name. I forget the MySQL database name, so let me check it out. What we created. Okay, OSP JSP. Okay, I got it. Use OSP JSP. Okay, select, we have to run select star from users so here we are we have a password one two three we have to change this so we are going to set the password one two three four so let's try and uh, we have a question what was your first card and the answer is audi okay let's start with that and our email address is god of at the rate gmail.com after that we have to enter the mobile number i forget the mobile number so it's one two three one two three four five six seven eight nine zero after that we have to select this after that we have to write here rd and here we have to write password new password so i'm just writing one two three four let's try with click on save it's loading so it will send the request to that page so here you can see the message the password changed successfully we enter all the details correctly that's why it's showing this message let's try with something else uh, so just got up at the read gmail.com after that here I'm just writing the mobile number one two three four five six seven eight nine Okay, just write here one. Okay, leave it. Just uh, write the correct mobile number here Let's select this after that. Uh, just write here the wrong answer ESD and here just try to Okay, and let's click on save again Okay, we did not uh, okay here you can see the message get automatically changed something went wrong try again it means that we uh, we enter uh, some wrong details so in this way we are changing the password of uh, users let's uh, select this query again and here you can see the password is also get changed okay this is all about forget part of my online shopping project i hope you guys like this video so please hit like and subscribe my channel thank you